Hello everyone. In today's DIY, we're going to be doing a uh, a rear luggage compartment panel or trim removal. This is in preparation for maybe if you want to like um, replace your shock absorbers or your tail light or anything that requires you to remove your your luggage compartment trim or panels so that being said let's get started on it Okay, so, so we'll be starting off with rear panels. So we're going to need to remove this here, this tabs, and there's another tab here. So what you're going to be needing is the either a dike, a pair of dike, right? go in between or if you have a very small flat head or a uh, knife just go in here just get something in between there's a little slot in there for a little flat head or something like that but I like to use a pair of dikes it's much easier just pull it out it's just a push in tabs so in there here. This is just a little tab with teeth where you just push in. It's a tab here. So basically there's three tabs, one, two, and three, and this is how they look like. They have this teeth-like thing, it's just a push, and then it's a little slot here, for maybe if you need, if you have like a little, uh, little flat head or so, stick it in there and just pull, alright. So, put all these aside real quick. And we're going to be removing this. So you see this tab right here, and lift this, lift this up as well, both sides. So you're gonna need a knife, or actually a small flathead, because you're gonna have to get in between here. So there's the slit right here. You see it? Show you well, don't need to, but um, here. let me see if you can see this. Okay, guys, so there's this tabs in here. 
Oh no, it's a, it's a cover. It's covering the uh, the ten millimeter screws. Right? What the heck is this? Some piece of rug. Why? Anyways, you're gonna pry this open. Just like so. Lift up. There's little claws on the side, one on this side, one on each side. So you're just gonna put a screwdriver or anything, something flat. Just go in between here. See? Simple. Same as this side. Same on this side. Just wedge something between there. Pull up. Just like that. See? Same thing. Little claws. And there's 10 millimeter bolts here. And here. Okay. Bolts right there. 10 bolt right there. So you're gonna move those. Let me grab my 10. One, two, so keep these in order. I'm just going to put these on the floor. Then on this side, we do the same thing. Lift the tabs. And lift his tabs. And then there's a thing right here. Boom. Nice and easy. Same thing here. Can't see. So this tab right there, stick in between. I'll show you guys right here. Right, so there's a plastic tab for the claws. So you're gonna stick something flat in between there. Just go lift up. Right, just like that. Okay. Let's remove those tens. Hopefully we don't need to remove too many stuff here, just to get to the shock absorber. All right? So don't don't get these mixed up. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're the same. <laughs> I don't think it matters where it goes. So, yeah. All right. Let's remove your first aid thingy, Majigi. Let's see what else we need to remove here. So pretty sure we're gonna have to remove this. Alright. So let's remove the tool thingy. Okay, I think we just lift this up now. So I think it's a clip. I can pull it up. It's a clip. 
show you the clip right now. So there, there are tabs. One here, one here. I think that was it. You just lift up and pull. Same thing on this side. Just gonna lift up and pull. to the left. Right. Almost there guys. Alright, next thing we're gonna move, remove or the this guy right here. Alright. Find a place for the camera. So we're gonna remove hold on. So we're gonna remove there's gonna be one tap here, right here, one here. One here and one right here. Same concept. All the tabs are all the same. Just get some dike in there or something flat. Or if you have those uh, those button removers. And right here, see how it looks like with its teeth, it's just a push in tabs. It's one so light. Sorry guys. and three which is over there somewhere just get underneath it uh, and there goes the flashlight I mean you gotta have tools Kudos for you. I'm ghetto, so. No need to invest in something like that. Something you could easily take out yourself. Let's go ahead and pull this out. So now, we're going for the main part, which are the side trims. This guy right here, and this guy right here. So, let me see if there's any special... No, I think we're just gonna have to remove... Two, three, maybe five taps on this side. We'll see. All right, let's start on this side first, yeah. All right, follow along, guys. We'll get there somehow. So 
So we're going to need to remove the back trim. <laughs> right? So just I guess it's gonna lift up. tabs guys button tabs so I'll show you right now Look at these white tabs these one two three four five and six and here are the holes for them right there one two three four five and six so this is the back right the back so we're going to put that aside real quick all right what i've got to do now is take off these tabs on the sides one there and then this guy here, I think we're just going to twist that off. Then that's another tab right there. Let's go ahead and get started on this guy. Alright. Hope you guys can see. Alright, here's a tab right here too bright for you guys. Alright. Actually, there we go. So I'm just, I'm just using a dike. You know, you guys can use whatever you want. But I'm just going to get in between here and just pull it up. There, see? Simple as that. And this guy here. I'm sure it's just a twist, like any other cargo bag. Just put aside, don't lose it. This one up here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. That guy right there. Don't, if you're gonna use the dike, don't cut it. <laughs> you just wanna get in between this, alright? Just like this, just like that, and just pry it up. Alright, let's see where else. Where are some more tabs? Okay, guys, um. So there's one more tab here that I forgot to mention. This guy right here. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to take a dike or something. Just go try to go in between and that's like you'll see like a tab. I'm just gonna get something to push. It's almost like a clip on tab. Alright, just so just I just loosen one. And you gotta go in the bottom. Hopefully you can. I can't see it, but let me get a flashlight real quick. So there should be another tab. I'm just gonna try to push it in. Now, 
it's actually better if I do this. So it's good to have a knife. There we go. So let me show you guys something. Oops. So inside this little white tab here. You're going to see uh, I don't know if you guys can see but all right so see inside here there's just tabs just get a knife and go in between there and just you know try to pry it inside you get, you get what I'm talking about when when you when you're doing this. Let me see if you can see this. I'm not sure you can see it, but here on the side side view, you see it. It's like a tab. It's like a push-in tab. It's a push in tab. See, it's a lock tab. When you push in, it locks from the side. So, in theory, you just want to go inside here with a little thin knife or something, blade, and just stick in between on top and just pry it in. That's how you unlock it. It's up to you. I mean, it depends on how you do it. Find your ways. I know you guys can figure out something. But yeah. Don't lose it, just put it aside. Alright. Let's see what else. I'm missing. I'm missing. Oh, I might have to take off the top too. <laughs> Alright, so the top is a little different. Okay, so let's remove the top cover. So the top cover has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven button plugs. And of course, we're gonna have to remove the uh, compartment lights, which is here. So to take this out, you need a flathead. Just go through this side right here. Push it in a little bit and just pry it out. Just like so. Alright. You have to pull it out to the right. Just like so. And then just disconnect it. There's a white clip here. Just press that and pull. Alright. On the side. Alright, so now let's go ahead and remove those button plugs. So just, you know, use a sharp edge, stick it up, and twist. Alright, two, three, four, five, six, and... Alright, so once you have that done, just go ahead and uh, just pull it out. See, one, two, three, four. Careful, it might drop. Five, six, and one more. Let me put this aside real quick. And seven. Alright. It's ready to drop. So just put it straight down. Alright. Side here. Alright. There's, there's flaps on this side, so just, you could just bend it. Just like that. It's made to be like that. So. 
So take note when you put it back in. It's gonna go this. It's gonna go this side first, straight in. There's a slot for these tabs here, All right? And there should be slots. So yeah. So this is what you remove if you want to, you know, maybe change your uh, woofers, which is right here. You can see it. You will first right here. So your woofers are held up by four nuts. One, two, three, and four, which is you is access from up there inside the car. Of course, you gotta take off the um, the mesh. So yeah. Okay. So let's put this aside. Okay, so now, that being said, let's go ahead and remove the side. Okay guys, so um, now we're going to go ahead and pull this out. So before we do that, I'm going to, I have to tell you something. So remember this is here? Um, Remember this? So be careful. Once you twist this off, just put them to the fall off, see? So just, just remove it. Yeah, I don't lose this, uh, it's like a rubber gasket still there which I guess put a glow in the hole something like that so, so yeah just remove this and then just uh put it back on this thing here alright so let's go ahead and just so the purpose of this video is just to remove the panel the side panel just to, so that we have access to the uh, strut tower, the, uh, the shock absorber tower, the top, the three bolts. Um, we don't necessarily have to take out this whole thing, which I'm not going to. So as long as we have access to the top hat, the three nut that holds up the shock absorber, we're good. So let's go ahead and... Um, just move it out of the way. Just bend it. Like so. Just slide it up just like so. Alright. See? So now I have access. I'll show you guys. Alright. See that? This is what we need access to right here. Just these three nuts, right? One, two, and three. To remove, to uh, you know, to uh, unbolt the the shock absorber. So yeah, this is how we uh, remove the panels. All right, let's do the same to the other side. Okay, hey guys. So we're gonna start on this side now. So I already um, tried out the inside of the clip, just so you see. And then I'm just gonna pull it out. All right, put it aside. So there's a tab here. I'm gonna use this, of course. Or you have a screwdriver. Just stick it inside. I mean, if you have a smaller one, thinner one, <laughs> but I prefer this. Let's go in between. Boom. One. One's right here. Just wiggle it. Just pull out. Two. Where's the other one? The other one's right here, guys. 
Um, this one, I think, is a different clip. Let's see. Yep, it's a different clip. So you're gonna get your handy dandy knife. Where the hell is it? Right here. Let me just stick it in. Boom. Simple. Okay, so just boom. Pull this off. Just like that. Side. Just remember that this one is different. Alright, so now we can just go ahead and just put it aside. Push, pull the uh, those panels aside. Well, got one more. <coughs> this right here. So just twist. show you guy here this rubber piece these rubber rings see there so rubber black rubber ring that goes in a hole to hold that nut in place so it doesn't fall off so I guess we're gonna have to go ahead and take that out well you can leave it there actually you know just leave this one here Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this panel off. Okay, so there's a tab here. There's this cover thing here. I don't know what the hell it's for. <laughs> but just remove it before you start pull pulling this thing out the side. This stupid thing here. What the hell is it for? I have no idea. But just put it aside. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this to the side. So right. there we go. So we have access to our uh, yes shot of silver. Alright guys, there's a top hat for your um, shock absorber. So now you guys know how to access to your to the top of your um, shock absorber to remove. So to replace this is the reverse order of how you remove it. So we're just going to go ahead and start, start I guess uh, putting it back together. Put this back together. Uh, before we do put it back together, I'm going to explain to you something real quick. <laughs> so, remember we took the top one, the top panel off. So you, you see this bar here. These are the torsion bar. And then also to remove your your subwoofers, you gotta have access to the top. And it's probably not necessary to. Uh, to remove the back to remove this panel to get access to the speaker I don't think but let's confirm that real quick so want to see yeah I don't think you're gonna need access from the bottom just to the top so you don't have to over it worry about that if you're planning on replacing your subwoofers so you're just going to remove the mesh from the top and then um, there's four four nuts four bolts holding it that's about it and of course you're going to have to disconnect the connectors from the positive and the negative polarity stuff so yeah other than that let's go and put this thing back together Starting from the driver's side, because that's what we took off last.